<clears throat> Alrighty, we'll uh, get started here. Um, <clears throat> this will be a quick uh, tutorial video. This is Scrappy, by the way. This will be a quick tutorial video on how to get the Twitter widget from the actual Twitter website into your um, custom WordPress website. I'm hosting with HostGator um, on the uh, hosting with HostGator and I have the WordPress plugin. This is the back end of my site. This is the actual um, website. And uh, if you go to uh, if you go to my uh, website um, sworn.fewmc.com there's these different banners. If you click on them you can get a really good deal if you want to host a site with uh, HostGator. I'll uh, also have some uh, GoDaddy banners. If you want to buy domain names you can get some really good deals on domain names. Um, anyways so we've got also I've got Twitter open the Twitter account I want to associate and I am going to go to appearance and widgets and I made some other tutorials on adding sidebars and things you might want to see all those other videos if you're not up to here yet but it ex can explain that I have a lot of other tutorial videos out there I'm gonna to go to my blog sidebar don't worry about this right now I'm just going to uh, delete this so I can show you how to do this. I'm just going to delete a sidebar. I'm going to go to my website, refresh. Alright, what I'm talking about <clears throat> is a really cool widget um, Twitter makes to put in your, uh, they write the HTML for you to put in your website. <clears throat> I actually put the widget in the footer of uh, all my pages and you can customize the size to a certain extent this is as small as I can make it and it fits in there really good and it has pop-up pictures as you can see of the different tweets and it'll take you right to Twitter if you want if somebody were to click on it and just go through that's what it looks like um, all right anyhow I want to put that <clears throat> in another spot in my site this is my blog page that run and I want to put it right up here so the way we do that <clears throat> this is the back end of our site as you saw I went to appearance and widgets, okay, and that gets you in here so you can mess around with all your sidebars and you're going to see all the other widgets I have on this blog sidebar. Go to our Twitter account, sign in, go here, go to settings. Once you get here, go to widgets. <clears throat> Once you go to widgets, if you've never done this, create a new one. I already have it. I named it Tweets by Sworn Few MC Mother Chapter. Um, I'm just going to edit it. It looks the same if you were to create a new one, and this is what it's going to have you fill out. Your your user Twitter username at SwornFewMC is me. I don't want any replies to show. Here's where you can adjust the size. 250 is as low as you can go. That's the footer, one I have in the footer. Um, that's is the height. Um, uh, there's not a way to right now to adjust the width, so you can just adjust the height. Um, I have it 250 for my footer. I'm going to go with 350 for my blog page. I would like it to be a little bit bigger. Um, actually, I'm going to go 300. Let's look at my blog page here. See how much room we've got. I've got other stuff here. So yeah, I think we can, we can probably go 350. And this is just, you just got to guess. And if you don't like it, come back and fix it later. But if you want a darker light theme, I want the dark for mine. Auto expand photos, that's why I was talking about the photos automatically expand. I like that. Link color default blue for links. And then just put in your domain names. You can put in more than one separated by commas um, if you want to do it on multiple sites that you're maintaining or that you've built. And you can read this if you want opt out of Taylor and Twitter. I opted out. Anyways, I've got everything I need. I'm going to save the changers and it's going to write my HTML code over here. Highlight it. I'm copying it, Command C, and uh, I'm going to go back to the back end of my website. Here's my blog sidebar. I'm just going to drag a simple text, standard stock text widget over there. I'm going to name it Twitter. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to, com I'm going to paste Command V. I'm going to paste all my uh, HTML from Twitter in there. I'm going to save it. All right, go back to my website. I'm going to refresh, and you're going to see a Twitter thing up here. But you're going to see a little hiccup. 
and I'm going to explain that to you. See here, Twitter, it's there. If you click on this, it takes you to Twitter, but you're not seeing what we want, which is this. And we want that to show up there. And I learned this the hard way. I looked at a lot of blogs. I couldn't get any answers. I don't think anybody really knows the answers right now that I could find. I searched and searched, but I originally put this in my footer and I had to wait. I just put it there and I decided just to wait and see what happened. And it was well over 24 hours um, and it may take longer. I just left it like this and it was, like I say, a long time. And finally, I checked like the next day in the afternoon, my site and suddenly, I this was appearing finally it was finally getting the feed and looking how it was supposed to so I got really discouraged and there's not a lot of information out there on this but this is how it's gonna look if it does on your WordPress site just leave it and uh, wait for it to appear eventually it will I don't know how long that will take it just depends but uh, so anyways that is a quick tutorial on how to add that uh, Twitter widget you can do it in your sidebar you can actually embed it if you wanted to at the bottom of a page um, just write the code in your, uh, go to the page and edit it. Um, up here, pages, find the page that you want to put it. I'm not going to do it, but you know, store, edit, and just uh, whatever kind of short code you have, just go to the bottom, put it at the bottom of your page, the middle, whatever you want to do. But that's it. Uh, hopefully that helps, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.